Hey, what's going on everybody? So I'm one of those people that gets hung up when I can't figure out something because I'm extremely techy. Uh, it's in my blood. It's what I do. It's my life. So I apologize. I'm actually silencing the phone. Anyways, I'm one of those people that has to get to the bottom of a solution. And um, I got the Mac M1 Mini. And if you don't know what that is, it's the new Mac product. And this device is just a Mac Mini. You know, it doesn't have a monitor. You, plug, you have to plug it in, etc. But it's supposed to be the highest performance with the M1 chip. Great. That's awesome. It's a great machine. So far, I'm using it here. It's beautiful. It runs fast. Here's my problem. One HDMI output. Now, I've got another one that's probably six years older than this one. I've got six monitors onto it. Believe it or not, I actually do. A lot of people would say that's not possible. You could probably do two monitors. No, I've got six monitors connected. Now, I'm that guy that will not take no for an answer. I contacted support and Apple said we're working on it. It's not possible just yet to have two monitors. Who doesn't have two monitors, especially Apple, right? So because I was working today and I had an hour and a half to kill, I went to Best Buy and I brought every adapter you can think of. And yeah, I shouldn't have spent my whole paycheck on it, but we bought adapters on top of adapters on top of adapters. Now, the reason for this is simple. The back of this little device has two USB ports. That's great, right? Mouse and keyboard. That's it. You're done. And yeah, you can get a dongle for that. And you've got one video out HDMI but you've got two USB-C. Now, if you don't know what USB-C is, let me find one here. USB-C is this little tiny guy. That's USB-C. Most of us charge our phones through that style of USB-C. So I decided I'm gonna buy all the adapters. I don't care what Apple says. I don't care what Best Buy says. Um, I went online to different forums and everybody's like, yeah, it's just impossible. Nobody tells me impossible. And any of you that know me, I don't take that word lightly. Impossible, right? No. So here's my mentality so you guys know where I'm going with it. And it's not a short video, so I'm recording this live. Most of our iPads, if we want to connect them to a monitor, and I don't know if you knew if you know that that can actually happen, you can attach an adapter, and the adapter is gonna look something like this. It's a USB-C and it's got an HDMI, USB, and then a charger. This is what most iPads would have if you want to connect it to a monitor. Why do you want to connect an iPad to a monitor? Well, some of us want to have a bigger screen and do that. Could you touch the screen? No, it's not touch. So just in case you guys were wondering, that's not the way it works. And I'm going to make a mess here. I don't really care right now, but I don't like to take no for an answer. As you can hear my tone, I don't like that to take no for an answer. So here's what we're going to do. This is the adapter that you would buy for an iPad or an iPhone. You plug it into the end, you got an HDMI, you got a USB, you're ready to roll, right? Simplest thing now because Apple's M1 technology is like an iPad or like an iPhone. It's the same type of technology, only different operating system. We're gonna plug this in. If this fixes it, I'm gonna return off $400 worth of items that I have here on the desk, but I need it to see. This would be the easiest fix. To me, it's a no-brainer. You plug it in. Apple says it doesn't work that way. Well, we're going to figure it out because this will go behind the device and this will go to the TV and boom, I've got two monitors. Now you're going to ask, why do you need two monitors? Well, the monitor I'm talking to you right now is my live stream. When I want to share something on the screen, I can't. Technically, I could. I got to segregate the monitor. It's a lot of algorithms, blah, blah, blah. I'm just being silly. Um, but yeah, now... If none of those work, I'm bringing in the big guns. And the big guns are Display Link, which I know will work. Display Link by Diamond. Now, this is a $400, $500 device. It's expensive. 5K. Now, this one is super expensive because it has all of these connectors. I know it's hard to see on the little uh, GoPro, but all of these connectors. When I had this on my old Mac, it was working beautifully, but the drivers updated in the operating system of Apple and this went away. A $500 device literally became a brick. Now, this should work with a Mac Mini. 
$500 device. Now, why would I go spend money on all of these devices? Well, a lot of you guys that are starting to buy the Mac Mini because it is inexpensive. I spend $699 on it. It's faster than an i7. If you don't know what that means, it's basically i7 would be a Ferrari versus an i3, an i5, which would be like a, a you know, a BMW and a, you know, Hyundai or something. So that being said, that is where we're going to start. We're going to plug this into that monitor and see if we have that. So I'm going to step away from the screen here and I'm going to continue to talk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into the back of my device on the USB-C port, which is again in the back of my computer. And I'm going to take that HDMI connection, which I got to find right now. It's somewhere in here dangling. And I'm going to plug that in directly to that device. Now, technically, that should light up my monitor and tell me that I am working. Now, I'm seeing myself cut off in the video, so I'm assuming it's working because I do see another monitor. Now, let me change my resolution of my monitors now because literally, if that fixed it, I'm good. I can't see you guys right now because the monitors are out of whack. So let me arrange these monitors. Here's my arrangement of my monitors and my resolution. And let me fix my resolution rate of these monitors so I can see my display screen. Because again, right now it is out of whack. So let me adjust my scale to 1050 okay my monitor should be back so I could see you guys now now comes the fun part if that little tiny device fixed it I would tell you which one it is and how much it cost me to fix it but again Apple said it was not possible and I just proved them wrong but that's who I am I like proving people wrong uh, when they are wrong so uh, I'm going to scale my other monitor to 1920 and I'm going to share it with you guys so let me share my monitor. I'm gonna have to play with it here for a second because as you guys can see, you are seeing my current monitor. So I'm gonna set my second display. This is now my second monitor. So here you go. Is my monitor working on that cheap device? Yes, it is. And I am functioning. And just to make sure that it, it is, uh, not choppy or funky resolution. I'm just gonna type YouTube and I'm just gonna select a video. And yes, those are all my daughter's videos. Um, but let's here, let's click on this one right here. Uh, that's actually one that's coming up. So here, we'll go to this vinyl guy. Oh, it's moving great. Looks like it's working. And we are working and moving. So. To just again give you the uh, the resolution. So what did I use? What did I buy? So I'm gonna go back to my screen that has all of those adapters. Uh, so here's all the adapters. Um, the one I ended up using that worked 100% and was the cheapest was this uh, Insignia USB-C to HDMI multi-port adapter. This is a 4K. This is what I wanted. USB-C to again you plug in one side to the computer, another one. That's all I needed to use. I did not need all of these crazy ones. I will show you the other ones that I did buy. Will they work? Well, we could test them and see. This is probably more of my favorite because it's a USB to two HDMI adapters and it's a 4K. Now this is 99 bucks and it's J5. The, the Insignia didn't need a driver. You plugged it in and you're working. So it it's, works beautifully with the Mac and, and the Apple operating system. J5, you got to download the driver, reboot the computer. There's a lot to it. Will it work? I will let you know because I'm going to test that. Not right now, but I will test it. Um, so that is this device right here. And again, it's got a network device, uh, USB adapters, USB 3, by the way, and two HDMI. It's a beautiful device. It's heavy. It's metal. Great little device. Now, another one that I know will work, and this is the exact same version of the one that I just showed you guys that I bought. I think that cheaper device, I might have told you it was $29, $39 for the first one. This is a higher version of that because this one has HDMI network, USBs, and then it's also got for SD cards. So this is a, a good one to travel with. If you, if you need to travel, this is a good one. But it's also USB-C. 
Now it's also insignia. Will it work? Uh, I'm gonna say yes, and if I have to stick with them, I'm gonna keep this one. Now this is for US dollars, is about 79 bucks. So I would say this is the one I'll use because it's got all the extras and it's nice to have that. So I'm gonna put that aside. This one here is a by Urban Factory. Never really heard of the company, but this is more like a docking station. You plug it in USB-C and it's got all of the adapters. This should work depending on the drivers. I'm gonna test that one too and see if it works. And this is a high-end J5. Now this one, as you can see, has multi ports. This one's amazing. This one you can do DisplayPort, HDMIs, all that jazz, VGA. So if you got a multi-port, that's a good one. But this cost me 150 bucks, so it's a little pricey. Um, this one here is about $20, another Insignia, which is exactly what I had plugged in. So this is simple, 20 bucks. You can find that online, Amazon, Best Buy, simple $20 one. And then this is a dual HDMI. I doubt this J5 will work because this is still the old USB. Um, so I'm going to guess, I'm going to actually put that one away because I'm not going to use that one at all. But so, yeah, so to answer your question, yes, it ended up working. We just had to find the right adapter that works with the Mac Mini. So right now the Insignia, uh, let me find the box one more time. Here we go. Uh, lighting probably sucks there. So I'm going to bring it over here. And it is the in Insignia USB-C to HDMI multiport adapter. That's what will work for you. So use that. That would be great. I'll update you guys on the comments and the notes in regards to the other devices I ended up using. But that's the device that will work. So Apple, you told me it wouldn't work. You were wrong. I knew I proved you wrong. And there you go. It's actually working. I have a second monitor now with my Mac Mini M1, which, you know, it's funny working on my way to a customer and it just hit me and I was like, no, I'm stopping at Best Buy. I'm spending four or $500 on adapters and we're gonna get one to work and then return the rest. And I shouldn't have torn the packaging because I'm that crazy guy that rips all the packaging. How many of you actually just open the packaging slowly, keep it all nice and neat instead of like tearing it up like I took a bite out of it? <laughs> Anyways, so there you go. Um, I'll try the other adapters and update you, but yeah, that seems to work. So it is working. You can do multi uh, monitors. I'm going to try three or four monitors and keep you posted. I will talk to you on the next run. See ya.